He stared adversity in the face and came out swinging. Back-to-back -back knee reconstructions would have knocked down many others, but not David Pocock. Pocock is so strong over the ball. The gym was the flanker's second home for almost 24 months of rehab. Dark and lonely times for a man that was being touted at the time as the best open side in the world. There's always those thoughts are there. I, um, I guess you acknowledge them, but I, I knew that if I, if I got back um, and was fit and, and playing really good rugby, which I back myself to do when I'm fit, I was, I was a chance. His return has been a stunning one, taking home the Brumbies Player of the Year before notching his 50th Wallabies cap against New Zealand. But it might never have been. Pocock was a schoolboy sensation at inside centre before his then coach Tom Barker touted the back row shift. After playing under 16s, I think I was playing full back centre. He kind of said to me, mate, I reckon you should have a go at flanker. Um, and then picked me as an inside centre for, school, uh, for the school team. His fly half at school level? None other than Quade Cooper. I remember the first training session going down and he was just. Yeah, you know, skinny kid with this long curly hair to his shoulders, his cap on backwards, and we played a bit of, it was very casual, played some sort of warm-up touch rugby, and you couldn't touch the bloke. He just had this ridiculous, like, big step thing that he'd do, and you'd go to touch him and miss, and we're thinking, who on earth is this guy? While memories of Quaid stick strong, so do memories of Zimbabwe, the country of his birth. The Pocock family forced out from the rural town of Gweru when David was just 14. One of the main reasons that social issues resonate so deep for the now 27-year-old. Early memories and, and those things really shape, shape who you are and uh, in many ways give you a sense of identity. Um, and that's, that's certainly the case for me. Uh, and yeah, it's been pretty tough to see what's, what's been going on. Um, you know, knowing that, that our family was very fortunate to be able to to make the move and that wasn't the case for, for a lot of people so yeah, hugely grateful for the opportunity um, and certainly realise how much of an opportunity it is so I'm pretty keen to make the most of it.